a team of 45 ECR engineering students have launched an Indiegogo page to raise funds to build a powered aerial vehicle, which they will use to compete against other universities at an Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International competition in Maryland. The Unmanned Aerial Systems Project here on within BCOE is perhaps one of the largest undergraduate projects. It's uh, interdisciplinary, so we, wide, we have a wider range of majors, spanning from computer science to uh, computer engineering, even electrical and mechanical engineering. So our team boasts about like 30 to 35, but an, an, an active member is ranging about 20. And so what the focus is, it is to develop an unmanned aerial vehicle as a platform to implement an, an, a system which is capable of executing autonomous aerial tasks. Uh, this includes things such as like autonomous navigation, uh, uh, the auto detection of alphanumeric targets, mm -hmm. and this all encompasses relaying this information back to a ground system. This is the actual computer. It's an Intel Nook with an i5 processor. So basically it's like a laptop that we're putting on the plane and we use this to control the camera um, and it gets pictures and it does some, it runs an algorithm, uh, basically a computer program that is able to select or crop out like regions of interest um, for potential targets and then it sends it back to the ground station. Will these also be, be in flight when uh, this is in flight? Uh, no, or? not simultaneously, no. These are just for almost an extension of we got interested in autonomous vehicles and then we started building, well he started yeah, building. Yeah, it's just for vectors. funders. <laughs> Last year there were about 48 universities that competed in this competition so mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably one of the largest uh, one of the largest challenges that we face. So this will be the second year, this June. Mm. But before that, there was an attempt by a, who was an, a UCR alum to initiate this project, mm. and um, they weren't able to compete. But last year, Russell Perry took the lead of the project, mm. and he was the one who was able to orchestrate the first entry of UCR in an unmanned aerial vehicle competition. Um, this is the plane from last year. So our mounting system wasn't as high tech. It was literally just a hole in the bottom of the plane that we kind of rested the camera in, uh -huh. and we just had the camera just lens constantly pointing down. The problem was that is like once you go into a bank, you know it's not pointing straight down anymore. It's pointing off uh -huh. somewhere over there. Oh, and so if you're trying to look at a certain area, uh -huh. you know we don't want it pointing all the way over there. Oh, so I see. That's why that was our motivation for going with the gimbal. We'd love to have like more support from like the entire school, such as like the arts major could be helping us design teach t-shirts, or like de designing logos for the plane, graphic or like probably design. yeah graphic designers, or like and then the business side they could be like doing the video editing or like marketing for us. Marketing. So like right now like um, most of us are just like using our spare time to do like all the marketing stuff, which ideally we would be using that time to be focusing on the engin engineering aspect instead. Or this is like the final design. So we're going to uh, get wood and laser cut this entire design out, just like that one, this Wednesday. And um, this weekend we'll be able to test and fly this airplane. We're going to build three version or three of these, so that we can use them for prototyping. And then the final one, which is a balsa, a very light version, we will take that and go fly it over at the competition, and we'll perform as best as we possibly can. I think last year we spent around probably I think eight thousand dollars for yeah. to ship everything out because mm -hmm. you know it's not just you know people students moving like traveling but we have to ship you know hundreds of pounds of equipment mm -hmm. all the way to the other side of the country mm -hmm. and that's a pretty big expense especially when you're comparing like how much we're spending versus schools on the east coast mm -hmm. you know they just have to rent a van and maybe a trailer and they could you know caravan all the way over to the competition whereas we have to actually you know pay for shipping and um, all the plane tickets and, and the hotel fees and stuff like that. Our engineering college at UCR is relatively new. It was established in the 90s. So as that compared to more uh, uh, technical universities or engineering colleges which I now have much more uh, uh, history, they're much more established. So undergraduate programs are much more, I think, closely knit and the projects which are present at these universities have a lot of momentum. Our engineering college can obtain this aspect of undergraduate engineers working on projects to develop their technical skills. Mm -hmm. So once they apply for jobs in industry or if that in regards to research, they, uh, they, they have more knowledge, they have the technical skills. And uh, I think it would just makes uh, our College of Engineering here at UC Riverside um, more closely knit, um, a stronger university.